Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to your uh, Astro Flower reading here. Um, yes, hope you're doing well. It seems like you've been, you tell me in your comments, it seems like you've been having a hard time, to be honest, and it's it's put a bit of doubt in your life and it's, it's asked you to sort of like go a little bit from pillar to posts and stuff like that. It seems like with the daily readings I'm doing over on TikTok, it seems like um, things are getting a little bit more sort of stable by the end of this week, uh, just gone. Uh, and it's uh, yeah, opening up for sort of a new way of doing things in the future. But we'll see this as we go through, um, go through this reading here. OK, let me just sort of like uh, take you through it. So the overall energy is here. Karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, influence on the universe, past self, future self and the general lesson or outcome. Uh, for this coming week here. No, no, no. Are you, it's it, and, and I've saw this. We saw this about sort of two, three weeks ago. Sort of like sort of saying, no, no, no. We're not. I'm not going back down that road. I'm not accepting that and stuff like that. And you're. It's. It, it, it's a bit of heartache attached to it. Yeah, you're going into a new world. You're going into a new world of confronting things. I think um, it's making you. You're feeling a lot more empowered more than anything else. Uh, as you go forward and as you as you get more and more empowered this is where you can really start creating or at least manifesting what you want for your future uh, your karmic path is to get out there and live basically uh, what it feels like there the universe here is being very solid it's not allowing um, things through that you don't really need in your life and your past is like done and dusted with and your future is open. It's like an open book. And this is it. It's sort of um, your, your lesson on the relationship side is almost sort of saying, um, what would you like to manifest? And just play with that manifestation sort of situation. Now you get the page of ones in this new way. Yeah, this is where you sort of like, you've got that sort of childlike energy coming through on your karmic path here. And you've got to go out and get it. It's uh, you're going out there. You're you know you should be socialising a little bit more, getting a bit more passionate about the things that make you kind of go yeah, that's exactly what I want. Uh, sort of scenario. And once you start doing that, that's when you're going to get a lot of results from the page on your karmic path. And this is where it was leaning towards the um, overall energies. You get the um, Knight of Wands, and these two here are sort of the Knight of Wands is as I said, the universe is sort of saying it's protecting you the knight of wands you're getting this protection from the universe so whatever you do as long as you put your passions into it the universe will stop you from being um taken for a ride or for your emotions to be abused by someone that is around you ah this that's what i said about the past is something that's dead done and dusted with over with maybe it's this is it it might have been a separation um in the past, in the recent past, that's caused you a bit of pain and stuff like that. But at the same time, love always existed. When you met that person, it would have existed at the beginning. So you know you have that love within you. And I think that's probably what the message is from the past to your future. You get another page here in your future, which is uh, the future, which is encouraging you forward. This is a very lucky card as well. And I think this is where um, because you're trying out things, it's almost like beginner's luck in a way, because you're going back to the beginning of love. Uh, you're getting this sort of beginner's luck. And I think this is where you need to um, engage in the world in a very physical sense. So doing activities, uh, connecting with um, people that are around you. So then you can really investigate, you know, who you would like to be with. And yeah, it's going to need planning in the future. Um, and possibly travel as well, certainly with that passionate side of you within your relationship side, you're going to have to go out there and get it, I think, more than anything else. But once you, I think you'd go out there with a set of tools that you know what you want out of life. And that's what makes it really um, important to sort of, you know, sort of planning, sort of saying, you know, I'd like to be with someone who sings music in the car whilst we're traveling along. That sort of thing. It's, it's that sort of planning sort of thing. It's making sort of, um, uh, sort of not just healthy boundaries, but, you know, putting certain sort of checklists on, on, on what you want out of a relationship. On your financial side, uh, this is where you got your, your, your suited and booted and ready to rock and roll by the looks of things. 
you know, your karmic message here is also playing outwards. You're looking outwards, uh, looking to maybe invest or uh, to take a new job. You're certainly looking around for you what is on the um, horizon. And you have a lot of understanding and a lot of knowledge. And I think this is where possibly within your job or your business or your projects is as if you've come to not the end of the road, but you've come to the end of this part of it. And it needs to be taken to another level totally. Uh, the universe here is also being very much like on this side here, being very solid about where you, um, what comes into your life, a lot of protection, but it is also pulling outwards. And I think this is where it's asking you to go looking for things more than anything else. In your, um, in your past self, in your past self, this is where you're bringing in a lot of lessons um, from the past. So you don't repeat the same mistakes, basically. We'll see what that's concerned with with the card. And in your future, yeah, you're suited and booted and ready to rock and roll. You want success by the looks of things. And the message that comes out of this is sort of saying, if you want it, you've got to go and get it in a way. That's more what it's sort of saying than anything else. You get the moon, Scorpio card. You're being protected from the unknown, as it were. I think you need to concentrate on this side. Concentrate on your own wealth. Concentrate on your own rewards rather than concentrating on the rewards of everybody else. But you need to get out there in order to get those rewards. And when you do, mm, yes, it's going to throw you a few curveballs and stuff like that. But at the same time, do not get involved in other people's problems, as it were. You've learned a lot in your past. Yes, most definitely. Uh, it's almost part of your crown and glory. And that's what that's all about. And with this new cycle that you're going into, it's a fresh and um, uh, invigorating way to attack your career path and your, and your business or your projects. And you do have to go out there. You, this is all the way through here. It's all about going out there. This is allow, allowing you to explore your curiosities. So this is why I'm sort of saying that maybe it's a job that's come to an end or a business that not necessarily come to an end, but you need it to go further. You need to be reinvigorated in life more than anything else. But you get the ace of cups out the top. And that's what I think you're looking for. I think you're looking for that fulfillment uh, in life as a, as a new project. And it is there on the cards uh, if, you, if you apply yourself. Um, and this new sort of offering, this, this sort of like abundance of joy uh, and invigoration within life, is certainly going to play into your favor once you start getting your curious side that's coming into it. So, yeah, I think this is where you need to take things to another level before you get caught up in a rut. Yeah, in this, you've got to choose to live in this new paradigm, basically. You've got to choose to go into this new way of being with you. And as I say, I think we've seen that over the past few weeks uh, where you might have been having a bit of a difficult time pulling you from pillar to post. And now you're getting a little bit more sort of focus. Be the leader of your own destiny once you get into this new sort of way of doing things. Three aces now on the table. This is definitely a new, a new beginning for you. And with the page of wands, this is you playing with your passions and allowing your passions to go freely um, into the world, connecting with other people. And that's what that lucky... Um, moment is with the page of pentacles uh which is in your future self allow your passions to come up within you and sort of kind of go do you know what i could really do with a thai green curry right who wants to come out for a curry and then that's when someone's going to turn around to you and sort of say yeah okay i'll come along and that person there is going to sort of either be the new love or uh open the doors to love basically more than anything else yeah there's a lot of happiness here within the base of you a lot of happiness within your life once you go out there and, in, and in, engage in your sort of uh in in your passions once you do do that on your financial side is curiosity curiosity on your relationship side and your emotional side it's all to do with your passions the universe is only going to allow happiness to come through really good coincidences and connections with other people with the two of cups you got the two of cups yes you know love and I think you know. I think you need to be a lot more precise about how you engage with another person, in accordance of what you want to get out of the relationship more than anything else. 
And with this page of pentacles isn't an ascension moment. This bit of luck that comes into your life where you start sort of doing activities and things that connect with another person, that's where the planning comes into it. And that's when you can really sort of uh, engage in the future because you've got a plan. And, uh, and this is where you can take things to a completely new level. Yeah, planning, converting your emotions into reality. I think that's what it's all about. It starts with the passion this week. So once you start getting very passionate about things, what's that? That card wants to come out. The Emperor card just, just wanted to pop out next to it. Own your future. Knowing that the, once you engage your sort of um, passions in life, then you can start converting your emotions into reality. And that's going to need a bit of planning. That's going to need a bit of sort of a checklist to sort of cross off as you go along, basically. Uh, but it looks really, really beautiful for your relationship side. It should be a lot more fruitful as you go forward. With the King of Pentacles, you get the um, Queen of um, Queen of Wands. Sorry, all about the passions, concentrating on one thing at a time, going for the big prize, but allowing your curiosity to sort of. And that she's very curious. You know, she's got lots of um, sort of uh, little candles around her. She's concentrating on one and she's being really curious about that one thing. And I think this is where you're within your knowledge or your experience that you have within your career path and your your projects or your business or whatever. You have that experience allow you to sort of push the limits here. And this is where the curiosity is going to change from um, from feeling stuck or avoiding feeling stuck. So you can actually start um, exploring all the good stuff. You've got to choose your path. And, the, and as I said, the universe here is bringing the energy out. You've got to go out there and get it. And the queen of uh, swords, she's looking in one way. She's got control over her emotions and she's going for it. And this is where the curiosity to sort of like um, see what sort of stimulates you and makes you feel happy about what you're doing is going to provide you with some good things. You get some good luck as well here with the Page of Pentacles. That's twice you've got the Page of Pentacles as well. With the Ace of Swords, this is like, from your past, is like the understanding or the uh, knowledge or the experience you have is your crowning glory. And now you can start playing with that. And I think this playing with it by um, going for a job promotion or pushing your business in another, in another direction or adding something to your business, or starting that project. Whatever it is, your curious side has really got to go out there. Yeah, either you go out and follow your curious side, or basically, I think you're going to get a bit of a kick up the backside. It's, it's so obvious here, and this is what this new thing, this is what the difficult choice is all about. You have to choose to go and get it, uh, Pisces. Otherwise, it may cause you, you, you'll be kicking yourself if you don't. You know, once you do, then you're going to get the best out of it. And yeah, and this is it. This is the harmony of, of success within your financial world is down to the emotional um, fulfillment that you get out of your job. You know, so if you feel like you're sitting in a rut or, you know, the job is a pretty boring or, you know, your business is, you know, it's OK, it's ticking over, but it's not really going anywhere. This is why I think once you start installing the, your curious side, uh, engaging with your heart and your passions and what things really work for you, that's when you're going to get the results. That's when you're going to get the justice. That's when you're going to find harmony within your workspace. Okay, Pisces, that's for this week. Thanking you for being here. I uh, really do appreciate all the support. In the meantime, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.